What's going on everyone and thank you for joining me in a second tutorial in a multi-part series. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can obtain a SOLIDWORKS license in three different ways. The first way is pretty straightforward. You can download SOLIDWORKS for free through your school or your college. This is perhaps one of the easiest ways you can download SOLIDWORKS. When I was still a student at the University of Illinois, I was able to download an educational version of SOLIDWORKS while I was still taking classes. Most schools have a web portal where you can log on and download free software, so don't forget to take advantage of that. I'm going to go ahead and show you an example of how I did it. Your school's website might look slightly different from what I'm showing you, but the idea is the same. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my school's website, which is located at webstore.illinois.edu. Go ahead and hit enter. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on shop personal purchases. This is where all of our softwares are located at. And so in the product search field, I'm going to be typing in SOLIDWORKS. And boom, there you have it. So this is the SOLIDWORKS premium suite. So it also includes the finite element analysis package along with flow simulation. And it's available completely free. So this is the easiest way to download SOLIDWORKS. So take advantage of it while you can. The second method of downloading SOLIDWORKS is not free, but it's a great alternative if you are using it for non-commercial reasons. This version of SOLIDWORKS is pretty common. It's called the Maker's License. This version is made specifically for makers, as the name implies, hobbyists and DIY people who are passionate about creating and designing on the side. I'll put a link in the description below for your convenience. So when it comes to prices, the annual subscription is about $48 or $15 a month if you're paying monthly. So the yearly subscription is clearly the better deal here. The only limitation to keep in mind here is that the files that you create using this license cannot be opened up on a commercial or educational version of SOLIDWORKS. A watermark is also added to the part files and drawings. So you might want to steer clear of this version if you intend to use it for commercial purposes. Finally. Another good way to get SOLIDWORKS completely free is through applying to the SOLIDWORKS startup program. This program is not very common, so not many people know about this. To be eligible for this program, you need to be an early to mid-stage startup company. Your company must not make more than a million in revenue and must be less than five years old to qualify. I'll post a link in the description below so you know how to apply. And there you have it. Those are the top three ways to download SOLIDWORKS. If you know of any other ways to download SOLIDWORKS for free, please comment below and I'll be sure to subscribe to your channel. In the next video, I'll be going over the basics of SOLIDWORKS user interface and how you can get acquainted quickly with the tools SOLIDWORKS has to offer. So don't forget to tune in to the next episode and we'll see you later.